Hello guys, welcome back to the news. This is Bliss Shane. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Spending 60 billion naira for the purchase of SUV for 40 legislators is a continuation of the troubling trend in our nation, Peter Obi said. The Labour Party's presidential candidate in the 2023 general election, Peter Obi, has kicked against the proposed purchase of SUVs worth 60 billion naira for legislators in the country. He described it as the continuation of the troubling trend in our nation. Obi claimed that the federal government has continued to overlook investing in critical sectors in the country, adding that one third of the amount with proper negotiation would have given the legislators locally manufactured SUV vehicles, which would also help boost the Nigerian economy, create and retain jobs. The presidential candidate also recalled how he cancelled an order for bulletproof cars during his time as governor of Anambra State. Obi said, we have continued to abandon the critical areas of development measurement while expanding scarce resources on needless luxury and creating comfort for those elected to serve the people. Our primary health care, which is the foundation of health, a critical development index measure has collapsed, leading to our surpassing India, a country seven times our population, in infant mortality, a very saddening situation. To allocate such a huge amount, which is more than what we allocated to our primary health care. It's nothing but troubling situation. One third of that amount with proper negotiation would have given them locally manufactured SUV vehicles from Innocent Motors, PAN on any local auto assembly plan to help boost our economy and create and retain jobs. For the unemployed. Obi said, upon his being sworn in as the then governor of Anambra State, he observed that the state high court judge, state government permanent secretaries, and newly appointed state commissioners had no vehicles. Anambra State government had then ordered for two bulletproof SUV vehicles for their use. I cancelled the order and used the same money to negotiate a concessionary pricing with Peugeot Automobile to supply us 60 406 vehicles which were enough for all the cabinet members, including himself and his deputy governor. He said they used the vehicles for their first tenor and were able to commence the work of doing more in the areas of health, education, and lifting people out of poverty. According to Peter Obi, nobody would contemplate this kind of 
expenditure under my administration. I urge all involved to depart from this part of wastage of public resources. A more prudent and transparent Nigerians is possible. So, my people, my people, Mr. Obi Peter may be correct by accusing the government of Bola Tinibu of this excessive, reckless spending of Nigerian money. It is true, this kind of bogus spending on legislators does not call for at this critical stage in Nigeria after the removal of first subsidy. The president asks the poor masses to manage only for him to spend so much money on legislators who has already has fleet of cars, personal fleet of cars on their home. Still, Mr. Peter Obi should not bother himself on this. The, the only solution to this problem is until our constitution is amended. Let us also note that Obi Labour Party senators and representatives are part of those that will get these expensive SUV vehicles. Will they reject it? Obi is against the move, but his party senators and legislators could not stand against it. So guys, what is your take on this? Please kindly subscribe and do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.